so this is the finished product on the Edison Home Model D Phonograph Motor Repair. Um, if you've watched these videos, this wasn't exactly a how-to series. It was more of a showing you what's involved with uh, bringing one of these back to life. And um, I've wound this up and let it run down several times now. And as an indication of how... Um, clean everything was this is the grease that is oozed out from inside the barrel and you see how clean it is there's no discoloration on it at all from the um, the old um, Vaseline and graphite spring lube and so that's very good I may after the motors been initially um, placed in the service put some grease on these larger slow moving gears but for now I'm just going to leave them uh, with the oil on them um, this is sort of a habit of mine I learned from the first Edison phonograph I bought which was one that had been cleaned and serviced by somebody that had been doing them for 20 years and so I've just sort of continued on with the same sort of pattern of lubrication it seemed to work I've had that standard for 26 years now and it um, uh, doesn't seem like there's been any issues there and so I'll do that on this home you can see the inspection hole there some grease oozing out there and as I said it's nice and clean looking. I'm very pleased with that. As it oozes out, I, I sort of spread it around on these parts here to keep it from forming large, large clumps like you see there. Take and put it on the winding parts there to keep those covered. So this is a pretty good running motor. The repair on the cracked pinion was successful and it looks very nice. Once the motor is installed it, it will be very hard to tell that that had been repaired. The um, governor has been cleaned and repaired. Although it's not quite the same configuration that it was with the um, torsion spring I believe it will work just fine, and uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. This is a, uh, a motor that I bought. Uh, I think I stated this in the... Um, first video that came in a machine I bought off of eBay, a Model D. I've tried to stay away from the Model D Edison machines because I do not think the um, center bearing arrangement is as good as the um, cup and cone bearing arrangement of the Model A and B machines. And of course, Model C machines are rather scarce. Model D machines are basically two and four minute combination versions of Model C's. But I took a chance on this one because I thought the cabinet was in nice shape as you saw in the first video and went ahead and bought it. And then of course it had the um, the same problem with the mains with the um, with the pinion on the third arbor that my Model B home had when I bought it. So I'm going to refrain from rambling on any further. We'll just close this video out by watching this uh, motor run. Thank you for watching. Like I said, this was not exactly a how-to series, uh, but it will give you an idea of what needs to be done, and you can kind of follow along and decide how much you want to tackle on your own on one of these.